welcome to another session with Aspire Executive Institute. In this tutorial session, we are going to learn how to install the Aspire Executive Institute app on our laptops using an emulator, specifically the BlueStacks. So first off, to obtain the BlueStacks, you can obtain it on your web browser. So I'm going to launch my web browser here. It is a Google Chrome. And within the web browser search bar, I'm going to type BlueStacks. search so normally we advise that you use the first option okay you have for the search okay so after you type the blue stacks the first option you have you click on that so we have two versions of blue stacks okay you have the blue stacks 5 and then the blue stacks 10 we have a high performing machine you can download the blue stacks 10 but to be on the safer side just download the BlueStacks 5 to be specific. So when the download is done, you can access the downloaded file from your file manager. Okay, so I'm going to click my file manager for my tags bar here. Go to downloads. And then I can see that the BlueStacks installer is here. The setup for the BlueStacks is here. I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to run this setup. I'm going to click on install now here. And then accept the terms. So I'm going to fast track this video until the download is complete. And then we take it from there. So we are actually done with the installation of the blue stacks. I'm going to go to my desktop interface. You can see that it is running in the background here. Now we have our BlueStacks installer and then the BlueStacks itself on our desktop here. A shortcut has been created on our desktop. Now we are going to launch our BlueStacks build. So we have our BlueStacks lens after a successful download. Normally, um, there may be apps on the interface here, but then if you're not seeing any apps, okay, no problem. You can always find them in the system apps here. So what we are going to look for specifically now is the Google Play Store app. Okay, within the BlueStacks, we are going to look for Google Play Store within the BlueStacks. But from this interface here, you can see that we don't have such a thing there, although we have this search bar here for Google Play Store. That is not what we are going to use. We are going to use the app itself. So we are going to open our system apps here. And we are going to drag and drop the Google Play Store from the system app. So you are going to left click and hold and then drop it onto the BlueStacks dashboard here. Yes, so we have it on our BlueStacks here now. We are going to launch the Google Play Store. It is within the Google Play Store. We are going to search for the Aspire Executive Institute app and install it from there. So I'm going to sign into my Google Play Store, okay, using my Gmail or my Google account. I'm going to click on the sign in. So you wait for it to load. Then I'm going to enter my email address, my Gmail account here. Okay, so I'm going to enter my Gmail account here. Okay, I'll agree to the terms. So after entering my password, I'm going to activate and validate this capture here. I'm not a robot here. And I'm going to click on next. So after logging into your Play Store on the BlueStacks, you are going to type the Aspire Executive Institute app within the search bar here. So as you all know, there is a logo of our app, the red icon with the white stripes in it. I'm going to click on install to begin the installation. So our installation is complete now. We can now open the Aspire app here. We click on open. To launch the app, you can maximize the screen. 
to enter school, your full screen mode. So after opening the app or after launching the app, you can see the options here to create an account and to sign in. So if you, if you already have an account, you are going to use a sign in option. If you are here to create an account, you are going to use a create account option. After clicking on the create account, if you're a new student with Aspa, all you need to do is to enter a valid email address, preferably a Gmail, enter your password, and then continue to create your account. But then if you already have an account, you will choose the login or the sign-in option we saw on the first interface after the launch. If you already have an account, you are just going to type in the email address and then the password you use in creating the account. We are going to log in. Okay, so here's what we have. Our Spire Executive Institute app is fully installed on our device using the BlueStacks 5 version. That's an emulator we can use to run the Aspire app on various desktops and laptops. So in desktop interface, you could see that the Aspire Executive Institute app. Okay. See the Aspire Executive Institute app so you can open it from here directly to assess your account if you are already logged in. But just in case you are signed out, you can always sign back in on your desktop.